Hey there, and welcome to my new vlog. Today I'm gonna tell you something that um, ended over there. That's my former hockey club, Pinoké. Um, so that's why I'm here. I'm here at, in Amsterdam, next to my former hockey club, Pinoké, because I'm gonna tell you what my hockey history is. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, my hockey history. It, um, I must be honest, it didn't really start with when I signed in for a hockey club. It started a bit different uh, and that has to do something with my family. My mother was a goalie in hockey, my father was a goalie in soccer, my, uh, then yeah of course <laughs> I started to be a goalie, my brother was a goalie in, in hockey and my other brother was also a goalie. But then in soccer, and he also made it to the Ajax youth. So, um, hey Joey, <laughs> uh, I'm proud of you that you made it so far. Too bad you uh, weren't growing anymore, so uh, you were too tall and uh, too short to be in the Ajax team. But yeah, an old family of hockey and uh, football, and especially an old family of goalies. So, when I started uh, being next to a hockey pitch, that was actually, I think, in Weesp small city next to uh, Amsterdam. My mother brought me with uh, me and also a lot of times to Almere where we also lived uh, and brought me to the hockey pitch where she had to play. And uh, I really liked the sport uh, but I didn't start it then. We moved to the east of Holland um, and I think when I was 10 I started to be uh, a first time as a hockey player. So I signed in for 10 lessons. Um, Ten lessons program to, to try hockey uh, and I really really liked it. I also did next to it uh, soccer uh, but I liked hockey more so I chose hockey and of course with my mother and my brother and we're hockey people so it was a logical step to choose for hockey. Um, I then signed in for a club and <laughs> probably nobody will know it. Um, HCHN, it's called in Holland, uh, HCHN, it stands for Hockey Club Hellendor and Nijverdal. Hellendor and Nijverdal are small towns in the east of Holland, uh, 200 members I think. Um, yeah, this will be on the 5th of October, it will come on, and on the 13th of October I will go there and play a match against the former uh, first team. Um, so it will be a long time ago since I've been there and uh, I'm gonna go back uh, with my Hockey Heroes TV gear of course uh, to show off. Um, there I started. I started as a striker, not actually as a goalie. I started as a striker. Um, I was not actually a bad striker. I think I just scored one so yeah, that may, makes me a bad striker. But I was bloody fast, ran uh, uh, next to the sideline on the right side and pumped the ball into the D and uh, yeah, the other guy scored. Um, during that season I thought uh, it was my time to be in the goal because we didn't have a goalie so everybody switched and uh, it was my time to be in the goal. It was an away match uh, against Princess Wilhelmina PW, PW in Enschede. Um, we lost big time. I'm not gonna tell how much. 9-0. <coughs> <Nine> it <nil. laughs> was terrible. I let in nine goals but I absolutely loved it. Uh, I think it is in my blood to be a goalie so I really loved it uh, to do it. So yeah, from that moment I stepped onto my go coach and even though I didn't play a really good match, I let in nine balls. But I told him Okay, coach, I want to be the goalie. And he said, yeah, of course. Because <laughs> at that moment, yeah, he was so happy that there was someone that wanted to be a goalie. So from that moment, I was the goalie. Uh, and that was the second years of the, in Holland, the D junior. So I was under 11s, uh, 11 year. Uh, I started really as a goalie uh, at that small club uh, in Hol Hellendor, Nijverdal. Um, and not a lot of teams, so I was always in the first team. Um, didn't really had goalie training, so I had to do it all by myself and just do something. I was just busy with stopping the balls. Uh, we did pretty well until I was in the first men's team. We actually uh, were champion once. Um, 
I must say it was from the lowest division in Holland where you can be a senior in, the fourth uh, division. But uh, I was champion with my team and I was so happy um, uh, that I actually stopped uh, at that club. Uh, not because we were champion, but uh, because I went on uh, to do a study in Delft. Uh, and I went back every weekend to train and to play a match, uh, so that cost me a lot of time. So the season after I went to uh, Delft to play for Dopey, that's a student club in, uh, in Delft. I played there for five years I think. Um, also champion once uh, from the second division, so I, I started there. Uh, went from the fourth division, promoted to the third as, uh, to, uh, when we were champion. And I started in the second, uh, became champion to the first. We renegated again to the second, went to the first again and back. And when I stopped there, uh, I went to Groengeel. Groengeel is a very nice club in Wassenaar, so next to uh, Die Heek. I lived in Die Heek then. Um, from the Groengeel squad, I uh, had my first real goalie session. Uh, goalie training uh, directly from the man himself, Martijn Drijver, and, and he literally taught me everything. Uh, I already uh, learned a lot during the hockey camps from him, but by being in the goal and um, yeah, feeling it yourself, I learned so much that uh, I became uh, quickly better and better and better. Um, the years before, before I had goalie training, so at Dopey. I had to really learn it myself, so I learned already from the goalie camps. But uh, I still had to learn it for myself, so I knew what the idea, what the technique was. Uh, but still, I had to implement it in my own goalie session, in my own session. So I really needed to focus uh, week after week after week on where my hands were, uh, my basic stance, standing still, uh, looking at the ball. All those tiny things I had to learn myself, I teach myself. So every time a wall is going in, I had to rethink, okay, what happened? Instead of that a goalie trainer said it to me, uh, okay, this happened, so focus on this. Uh, so I had to do it myself. That... But then, yeah, Martijn Drijver, he taught me a lot. And in one year, I got a call from uh, the coach of HDM, cl a big club in Die Heek. They were just, went from the hoofdklasse uh, uh, to the overgangsklasse, one below. Um, and I needed a, a, a second goalie. It uh, was again a level higher. So I was almost at the highest level already in six years from when I uh, were cha was champion in the lowest division. Um, so I almost made it already to the top. So happy with it. I thought, okay, this is my end goal. I'm never gonna go higher than this because I came f come from so low that uh, I'm already really happy with this. I played there for two years. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I learned already a, again a lot. So again, training with Martijn Driver. Uh, instead of training two times with the team, uh, we trained four times with the team. Instead of just once every two weeks goalie session, um, at least once a week and sometimes twice a week goalie session. So improving, improving, improving. Um, but yeah, then I was 28, I think. And I thought, okay, I had my best time. I reached the top of what I could do, and maybe it's time to do um, something else. So I moved to uh, Amsterdam, not really thinking about hockey anymore. I just went there um, to be closer to France, uh, to live close to France. Uh, uh, I worked there a lot as a goalie trainer, so uh, I thought it was a good step ahead for my uh, career uh, as a goalie coach. Um, didn't really think about where to play then, so I thought, okay, I will just see. No, 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 at evening I moved to Amsterdam. I met uh, a friend that was also the, uh, the assistant coach of Pino K, uh, of Classic Club, so the highest division. And he said, okay, our second goalie is stopping. Um, maybe you want to join us for a couple of sessions uh, and maybe it will work. It worked. <laughs> so I uh, went from um, Hadium to Pino K. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, three years in a row I uh, was in the, in the squad. Um, had so much fun, learned so much. Um, again from different goalie trainers. Um, so first from Egon Jesse and then from Simon Zaib. 
learned a lot by having several goalie coaches, um, different styles, maybe diff different drills. So it made me as a goalie a better uh, goalie. Um, but also as a goalie coach, my perspective was bigger. I knew more, um, had more knowledge. Um, and it helped me a lot. Uh, I learned so much at Pinoke. Uh, it made me who I am now. Uh, it is, uh, was a big, big opportunity and I really loved it. Um, and that's why we are here. Yeah, there in the background, that's Pinoke. Yeah, over there. There, yeah, yeah, there, Pinoke. Um, that was my end goal. Um, I really love this play hockey, and I really love it when I'm doing it now. Uh, I'm just now doing it for uh, the Hockey Heroes TV shooting sessions. Um, I must say, you need uh, trainings. <laughs> I don't play hockey that much now. Uh, we just shoot once uh, a week, once every, ever once a week, uh, once every uh, month at maximum, and that's about it. Um, and I must say, uh, your level drops quick. <laughs> If I look at some saves, I say, okay, there I was sort of lucky, uh, instead of, okay, I can still do it. No, I was, most of the times I'm just lucky because you need training. You need to be in the goal a lot, make a, f make a lot of hours to become better, but also to stay good. If you reach a level, it is not that you don't have to do anything. You still need to work your ass off. Okay, that was my hockey history, so my vlog of this, uh, this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or uh, comments about my hockey history, maybe it is a bit similar to yours, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to your channel, of course. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.